Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Today, we're gonna to count down our top eight holiday gifts for photographers that I've collected over 2021. So I'm gonna try and not include anything that we included last year, although I still stand by all of my recommendations for last year's gifts for photographers list. I'll go ahead and link that above now. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Jess. I'm a photographer person. I usually shoot portraits, but I do other stuff as well. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and join the channel because that would be cool, but also no pressure if you don't want to. Let's kick off the list. I'm gonna try and keep this reasonably straightforward. We'll put all the links to all of the things that I'm gonna mention into the description below, but go into the blog post because we'll update that more regularly. Forewarning, the list does contain some affiliate links, not all of them. So uh, yeah, just I, I legally have to mention that. So that is a thing. I'm gonna start with probably something that you guys would have imagined would be included in this video if you are already a subscriber to the channel. So we're gonna start this list off with gift number one, which is my personal favorite desk accessory, and it is the Screen Bar Plus from BenQ. So Screen Bar Plus from BenQ essentially is a little light that you clip onto the top of your computer monitor. It's great for desktops. There is a laptop and netbook version if you prefer to go with that option but the reason why this light is so awesome is because it doesn't cast glare on your screen it doesn't glare in your eyes and it is 100 kind of measuring the ambient exposure all of the time in the room to make sure that you're getting the exact right color balance and the exact right brightness to be working on your computer using this light which i have done probably for about six months now has been a bit of a game changer for me because i no longer have headaches when i'm working at my screen Screen and um, actually I just use it as a desk light now. So this is what the monitor light looks like. This little section here just goes ahead and sits over and on top of your computer monitor. The light comes out of this part here. You can twizzle a rooney it to uh, go ahead and adjust the glare that may or may not be falling on the computer. So you just wanna adjust it so it's not glaring in the computer and also not in your eyeballs would be useful. The plug goes into a plug in the wall or your computer. I just have it go into the plug in the wall. And then this bit just sits on your desk. And that's a little bit that measures the situation and basically sets everything up. So I think this is a great little light, to be honest. And actually family members have seen it when they've been round and have gone ahead and purchased it for themselves. So not exclusive to photographers, but fantastic as well. It was included in the prints review video because I use it to look at my prints because it just produces the most perfect light so why would you not gift number one it retails currently and prices are only correct to the right this now very second currently retails for 119 pounds so that's british pounds sterling do your currency conversions as needed but yeah super light i think it's awesome yeah weird gift but also epic so this option is not a new option. We've not even gone to number two yet. We're like at 1B, 1I, the next one down from number one. And we're actually gonna be discussing this light here. This light is another light from BenQ. It comes from a similar range. It does the same stuff. So it has touch functionality, which is pretty epic. And it also has its presets which you just press and hold. So this is auto balance now for screen work. And if we press it, hold it again, that's for reading documents or books. And it's measuring the ambient exposure in the room and setting the right level of brightness. You can, however, override it by going ahead and twizzling the twizzly knob on the top, which is always fun and change the color by tapping once and then twizzling. So super set of lights. I really like, well, Dan likes this one. This is Dan's desk light. I can't claim that I have anything to do with it. Uh, but yeah, so it hinges at pretty much like every single joint. So the whole thing is like 100% movable, which is great. So this is option 1B, retails for variable prices. You can often grab a bargain on the internet. We'll include a link to our favorite pick in the description below. By the way, I forgot to mention the actual name of that light. That light is the WIT e-reading light from BenQ. Awesome inventions happening from BenQ. So 10 out of 10 from me on that. Let's move on to gift number two because we stuck on one for like a long time. So gift number two is the Sandmark lens. It's not something that we would usually discuss on the channel because of course we are usually shooting with DSLRs or mirrorless cameras, but 
In the older situation where you may need to use your phone, which is kind of like increasingly common these days, we have had the opportunity to test out some Sandmark lenses. So the Sandmark lens essentially is a phone lens. You put it on your phone and um, on the one that we have tried out, it's the wide angle lens. So I keep it just for ease on the little clip because I think the little clip is easier to use. So there's a little clip like that. All you need to do then is clip it to your phone, take the lens cap off and off you go, you're ready to shoot. What it does in this instance is it makes it two times wider than the wide angle version on the phone and it is different based on different phones. So you need to go and find your phone and then find the lens for your phone, if that makes any sense. If you don't wanna use the clip, which actually from personal experience was quite difficult to line up, then don't panic because inside the box, is a case. So again, the case is specific to your mobile telephone device, but it has uh, the slots to mount on top of the lenses. So you don't need to use the clip. You can just put, clip it into a case, change your case and shoot with the case. And that, to be honest, would be my recommendation for the best case scenario for using this. But great for creating Instagram content, reels, other types of quick social media phone content, especially if you are one of those people that likes to take your phone with you everywhere, which I mean, who isn't in this day and age? This lens does retail for 85 pounds. Gift number three or four, depending on if you're counting 1B into the list, is the Photocross 15 camera bag from Mindshift Gear. So this was included in last year's, but it's still my camera bag of choice. And therefore I think it really deserved to be in this particular list. So my camera bag, has been with me on every single shoot throughout the last year. It's been on commercial jobs. It's been to different cities, countries. It's been everywhere, to be honest, and I still use it all the time. We'll include some stuff from uh, the previous reviews that we've done on this bag. Take a real close look now. Uh-uh, as soon you realize you don't know what's coming down. I got you hit Personally, I still think it's an awesome piece of kit. So it still features in our list of gifts for photographers and is an awesome, awesome bag. I personally think it's well worth the money. It is £195. Of course, prices may vary, but it's one I think you should have a look at. You can fit lots of kit in and it's solid as a rock. Okay, we're gonna go for a curveball for number five. Number five is actually, uh, again, phone related because I think it is a good idea to be getting some behind the scenes content because it's great for your social media, great for your client interaction. And also, you know, it's just good to have like behind the scenes stuff because who wouldn't want that? So next gift in the list is a iPhone hot shoe adapter. It doesn't have to be an iPhone. It could be any smartphone, but I'll show you mine. So this little piece of kit essentially slides onto the top of your camera using the hat, ho, the hat, sh the hat shoe slides onto the top of your camera using the hot shoe, and then you just put your phone in and change the grip to hold onto it. Then you can go ahead and shoot your sessions and shoots and photographs and stuff, and you've got your phone sat in there ready to record exactly what's happening, where your camera's pointing. Really useful thing to just have in your camera bag if you think you're in a great location or you think the before and after will be good or you think that the behind the scenes is worthwhile. So if you're wondering on it, the most inexpensive gift that you can possibly get that might be useful for a photographer, this is probably it. And at £5.99, it's a perfect stocking filler secret Santa gift present. It's worth including because I think, you know, it's 2021, nearly 2022 and you know we need to be doing these things gift number six Dan what's gift number six it's a coat it's can I have my coat please you won't feel the benefit when you go outside this is my coat uh and that's what we're covering off now so uh, again I've used this for months and months and months every day I also ride my pony in this coat I do everything in this coat this is our that talk spot 
coat. It's a regatta three in one coat. So it's waterproof and really warm. There's a soft shell inner that you can zip out. And uh, to be honest, I just think it's great. I might just stay in this now for the rest. Is that all right? Cause it's nice and warm. So uh, yeah, it's got a hood, it's waterproof. It does all the stuff uh, and it's comfy and I use it all the time. So this would be probably my next gift. You can buy it on our website. Again, links will be all down below. So the next thing again is something that I actually ride my horse in, uh, but I think is useful to have around because the next thing on the list is some waterproof gloves, but the gloves allow you to touch screens. Very useful for photographers. Thank you. What these gloves do, they're cycling gloves. That's all they are. So completely variable in price. I want you to go ahead and look for some cycling gloves that have got the touch screen conductor pads in the fingers and the thumb. So a lot of people commented on some YouTube videos where I touched my screen with gloves on asking what are these gloves that are magical and allow you to do that and are also warm and waterproof. Cycling gloves. Honestly, just think outside the box, guys. So these gloves vary in price. You can pick them up for $5.99 or you can pick them up for $55.99. Totally variable. You decide what you want to do. I'll link to some in the description below, but awesome gift for photographers because, you know, we're often out in all sorts of different weather and warm hands is great. But if we can't touch our screens, we're going to constantly have to be taking on and off our gloves. Awesome gift. This one is also in last year's gift list. So number seven on my list or eight, if you're counting one B, would be Topaz Labs Denoise AI. And I, I still think it's great. I mean, what can I say? We've done two reviews of Topaz Denoise AI on the channel. I will go ahead and link to the most recent one, which goes through my settings and how I personally use it. They did do a recent up mm-hmm. <laughs> They did do a recent update, which made it work even better, even faster, and even cleaner. So it doesn't really degrade your images at all, and it makes a massive, massive difference. So I personally use it if I'm shooting in dark locations, in the woods, and yes, some of my awards entries for this year have been taken at ISO 5000 and above, and gone into the portrait categories, and are now in the print finals. So I'm telling you, this is worth a look. And the final thing on our gift list for photographers is the most expensive thing on the gift list for photographers. And this is a Wacom tablet. Now, most people know Wacom's, <laughs> it's kind of like creeping into the shop. Da 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 Okay, so I've got in front of uh, in front of us my own personal Wacom. It is an Intuos Pro Medium, and uh, I think it's great for fine retouching and work and stuff like that. Now it's not cheap. It may break the bank for some, but it is worth it if you're wanting to get in there and do super specific little bits and pieces. This Wacom is priced at £329.99. So it, uh, yeah, you know, you're going to have to spend a bit, but uh, it is great. Now I spoke to the guys on the Wacom stand at the photography show and asked them some usability bits about it because I personally find it quite hard to use at certain times because I'm left-handed, which is I think like issue number one for me. And also I've got quite weak wrists, so it can be quite hard to, you know, control stuff. Now, what the guys said, and they are so freaking right, is use it every day. Take your mouse away, put the mouse in a drawer. You're not allowed to touch it for two weeks. Two weeks of daily use with the Wacom will change your life. Uh, and yeah, it did. So plugs in with a cable, you've got your pen, and you just edit. It's, it's, it's kind of straightforward there. Great piece of kit, one I would definitely recommend. Uh, I like the medium one, I think it's the right size. Any smaller and I'd struggle, any bigger and I'd just be reaching across my desk all the time and I don't think I'd like that. But obviously everyone has their own opinion so you can, you know, make your own decision on that. But Intuos Pro Medium is a top pick from me. So guys, that is our rundown of our top eight gifts or nine if you include 1B for photographers for 2021. I've had a great deal of fun creating this because I like to just do things a bit differently and I think that we maybe have done that. I don't know, who knows? Top picks for me personally would probably be the lamps from BenQ because I think they're ace. Probably next one on the list would be waterproof gloves because I wear them every day. Uh, they're useful for other pursuits as well like ponies. 
and obviously our coat because I, this is this is my coat that I use all the time so I like it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you think I've missed something vital out that must be added to the gift list, then go ahead and drop them in the comments below because if they're a great idea, I might as well add them to the whole blog post to archive every single awesome gift for a photographer. Hope you well, have a great holiday season and I'll see you all again really, really soon.